Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a WordPress site using Divi's Visual Builder. So I've logged in to WordPress and uh, I'm looking at the website and I can then see my admin menu up the top of the page. So now I'm on the page I want to edit and I click Enable Visual Builder. Now as I scroll down, each section of the site is highlighted for me. So for example, uh, Join a Mastermind is highlighted. This text box is highlighted. Uh, the blue line here marks the, the wider area that in, encapsulates uh, both of these boxes. And then I can edit this box directly or this box directly or this box directly. Now, some changes you can just type in straight away. So just type here what you want to type. Now, other changes you'll need to actually bring up the editing box. So if I just double click here, then it brings up uh, the settings. Or you can do it another way. Just hover the mouse over and click on the module settings. So for this module, there's a title and a subtitle. So I can simply edit the text as I want. There is a button in this case. And so you can change the text for the button. And then any text that you want to appear. Here on this one, I don't have any text appearing, but you can simply type it in if you want. Uh, any images that you want, simply click to add. A link. So where should this button one link to? And, uh, and so on. So uh, this gives you an idea of how to edit uh, a part of the website. Now, when you're editing, uh, some of the changes are done uh, directly and some are indirectly. So let me show you an example. Uh, editing this box, the title is what is a mastermind group. So if I want to change the size of this, I actually have to go into the design section, go to title text, and here I can change the size and the font and the color used for this title. Whereas down here, this about text, I simply click on it and I can begin to edit or I click on the module settings, I highlight the text and then I change it from a heading 3 to a heading 2 or heading 1 to make it bigger or smaller. So um, you can add extra modules. So in this case you can see this grey box is one module but I can add another one below it by clicking add new module. That gives me a whole range of different options. Uh, quite useful features such as an accordion, uh, a blog post, or a button. Uh, normally, uh, the ones I use will be a call to action, which is like this blue one up here, or a contact form, or if you scroll down, 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 uh, simply a text field. And a text field is very handy for just typing in plain text like the text you see here. It's also got, further up, uh, the option of adding an image, and in this way you can then add pictures in different parts. So let me just show you how that can be done. I'll click image, and then I have to choose the one I want for my upload of pictures. Let's say that I choose this sample photo here, and I tick it, and now it appears over here like that. But Maybe I don't want it to be on the, the side there, so I can click to edit again. And alignment, and I can choose to align it smack bang in the middle. I can choose to edit the size of it, the width, the height, and so on. I could add a, a shadow to the box if I want, which does make the image appear in a nicer way. And I can also move it around. So maybe I'm not happy with it right here. I can move it down down below. Now, uh, the site can be set up to have columns. So this green tag for the, defines the columns. And I can change it to, instead of having one column, have several columns. And if we have several columns, 
then I can move this picture over here and we've got our about text and our picture next to it. So this gives you an idea of how to use uh, Divi's Visual Builder. Uh, you can also copy existing text. So this text here, maybe you'd like to use that as a template. So click Duplicate and now you've got two copies of the same text and then you can edit the text the way you want in the second area and you'll know that it follows the same pattern and same design. So this has given you a general idea of how to use the Divi Visual Builder. There is a lot more information uh, to learn about it, but just a, an introduction for you.